So Kendra and I have known each other for a long time now. I am so proud of the woman she has become and the life that she has chosen for herself, especially with the man she chosen to spend the rest of her life with. Chris, I'm giving up a lot today, okay? She was supposed to be with me. We are gonna be together forever, but that didn't happen. So you better take good care of her. Kendra, you know I'm a little tainted towards love and relationships right now, but you guys give me hope that two people can be in love. So I read somewhere that love is a friendship that has caught fire. May your fire stay strong, bright, and filled with love and laughter for at least the next 50 years. My wife said, you know, Kendra's bringing a guy to the house. That's fine. He won't last long. <laughs> she kind of traded him quite frequently, you know. I didn't, they, they didn't stick around. And I think it was maybe after a year, she's like, you better like this one. I'm like, why? <laughs> well, she's in love. No. He uh, told me he'd take care of her because um, I, uh, I told Chris when he asked me for permission. I said, uh, there's a couple of rules. This is probably the story I wasn't supposed to tell, but the moonshine took over. <laughs> I, uh, we went out in the back. We were putting some corn out, and uh, Chris and I were walking down the hill, and I said, uh, so you got something to ask me? He wouldn't talk. <laughs> Maybe it's because I had a knife. I don't know. <laughs> um, we came back and I said, well, you do have to keep her. You know that, right? <laughs> he said, you mean forever? I said, yeah. With this ring, I marry you and bind my life to yours. It is a symbol of my eternal love and my everlasting friendship and the promise of all my tomorrows. With this ring, I marry you by my life to yours. It is a symbol of my eternal love and my everlasting friendship and the promise of all my tomorrows. When I was asked to do this, uh, I didn't know whether I could or not. been at it about 52 years and I'd like to give them the same advice that I give all of my grandkids that somewhere along the way you'll figure out if you stay at it long enough that neither one of them is perfect and once you figure that out things go a lot easier but you have to work at that and I still have problems today. I have to tell my wife of 52 years, I know I should be able to read your mind, but I can't do it. And she very patiently explained it to me.
Hey, that was the best we survived. wedding. That was the we best survived. wedding I ever seen in my life. Beautiful. It's the best wedding.